in a first on CNBC interview with T-Mobile U.S. CEO Mike Siebert. Mike, great to have you. I, I, I want to talk about the consumer in this inflationary environment. You say that you guys aren't raising prices, but surely your costs are going up. So what's the strategy? Is it, I mean, you seem to be you know, bringing on benefits like a luxury credit card, right? Is it reducing churn and, and boosting loyalty? Well, you know, uh, John, our strategy has been consistent for a decade now, which is we make big investments in our customers. And because of that, more customers join the uncarrier. And one of the things you'll notice about today's big investment is that it's so well-timed with what's on consumers' minds. You know, as Dan just said in the last segment, consumers are stressed out right now. They're worried about the economy. They're worried about inflation. But simultaneously, after two years of lockdowns and uh, COVID, they're ready to travel. And those two things create a combined pressure. So we're able to use our size and our scale to make huge investments for our customers to make travel easier. And what the Uncarrier does, we smash pain points. And this is a big one, this, this travel move we're announcing today. Okay, so does that mean that your expectation is as inflation pushes prices harder, consumers are looking for a deal from the brands they trust and maybe they're willing to sweep in some spending that they would put elsewhere to stick with you. Is, is that because I know you say your strategy hasn't changed, but the consumer sure has changed. Absolutely. You know, and by the way, look at how our competitors are responding to this macroeconomic environment. In the last month or so, we've seen two billion dollars of price increases being slammed on American consumers by AT&T and Verizon combined. That's nuts. Right, the, right at the time when consumers are most concerned about inflation, that's not the way to handle it. What we're doing is we're creating new benefits and new value. And to your point, you know, we're putting those values in our best plans. Magenta Max is our most popular plan. And when people select Magenta Max because we're solving their travel problems, well, that may actually make our revenues rise. And if that happens, everyone wins. So for us economically, this is about loving our customers and attracting more of them, but also having them rise up to our very best and most popular plans where we have a chance to make that return on revenues. Hey, Mike, it's Deirdre. It's good to have you on the show. Um, you're positive on travel now. You say the consumers, they're ready to get out and travel. Certainly we've seen that. But as the economy softens, prices remain high. Um, do you expect that to continue? Are there other ways in which you can serve your customer that you're looking ahead to if that falls off, if we do enter a recession? Yeah, I, you know, this is why this move is so well timed. I mean, travel's up in April, May, and June versus 19 for the first time since the pandemic. We're up versus 19 in travel spending, but at a time when consumers are stressed out. So what are we doing? We're providing completely free global roaming of high-speed data in an unprecedented move. Now you can get off that plane and not be faced with a choice of selecting some special plan, or if you forget to select a plan, maybe being slammed with $2,000 in roaming fees like can still happen at AT T. Instead, with T-Mobile Magenta Max, you just travel the world and high speed data is included for the first time ever for free. And that's a that's a problem solve. Now, you have to get there by aircraft. And so we're including now free Wi-Fi on flights for Magenta customers across all the major American airlines, American, Delta, Alaska, and coming soon, United. This is huge. You know, this is, you know, it costs consumers a billion dollars a year to connect to Wi-Fi while flying, not T-Mobile customers. So these are huge Mike, problems that we're solving at a, I, at a time when consumers are worried about rising prices. So I understand what you're saying. Travel has been stronger. It has caught up and in some cases surpassed 2019 levels. But my question is more looking forward, looking months out to the end of this year when the economy softens, when prices may you know, go lower or consumers don't feel like they want to spend as much. Is this the right move when we're entering this environment, not what we've seen over the past months? Absolutely, because it saves people money, and that's what they expect from T-Mobile. And I think, you know, as we look at a potential recessionary environment, T-Mobile's doubling down on the idea of offering superior value across every category, especially essential categories where people won't drop the category, there will be a flight to value. And we're shoring up T-Mobile's longstanding fame for value because when customers have tight budgets, they will look to save money. And in our category, that's T-Mobile.